right you guys got another product review this is the Azul access free fanless mini PC stick for your monitor or your TV which you can plug in via HDMI uh, 2.0 very nice little slim small compact mini PC for all your own media uh, needs it has Windows 10 Pro on here and we're going to be taking a look at that in depth a little bit later on you also got the Azul link multi a functional remote control which has like an air mouse ca capability and uh, inside the box of the Azul access free you can see you got your warranty card here discount card and also you've got yourself your access free here fanless mini PC user manual and uh, inside here is going to tell you how to set it up it's very easy to do you just plug it in basically and set your windows up and you're good to go nice clear English and also color pictures on here and also it's got all your specifications in here and I'll show you here it says it's the perfect match for the link remote as well so the processor is the Intel Gemini Lake uh, N4 100 quad core as Windows 10 Pro as wake up on LAN PXE audio power on for your BIOS 4 gigabytes of RAM storage is 32 gigabytes or the 64 gigabyte version GPU is the Intel HD 600 one two EU and the Wi-Fi is dual band 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz you also have uh, a 1 gigabit Ethernet on here also Bluetooth is 4.2 HDMI 2.0 4k at 60 frames per second USB has two times 3.0 ports micro SD card slot on there up to 256 gigabytes audio output 3.5 mm, uh, millimeter jack on there 5 volts and 3 amps for the power supply and the dimensions is 5.2 by 2 inches by 0 0.75 inches for the actual device which makes it very small and compact which is ideal to slot in the back of a TV or something like that so also the remote control does work very well with this because obviously it's designed for it so let's get it out the box and take a look now you can see how small this is here it's very small and compact we have that HDMI on here which is gold plated as well I like the design of it and the size of it in my hand as you can see here it's very small and I like it a lot because obviously uh, it's small and compact it's good enough for a home media system got that HDMI here and also your Wi-Fi antenna on the side plus that Ethernet port got your 256 gigabyte micro SD card slot on here which is ample plus you've got your 32 gig built in or 64 gig you've got your Kensington lock here your Ethernet port and also your uh, 3.5 mil audio port there two USB 3.0s on here and also we have our power port here to power the actual device as well so that's uh, where you can uh, power it also we got a power button uh, all in all a pretty nice looking device the only concern I would have obviously if you're plugging this into a HDMI is if the port is on the back it would be sticking out quite a bit so you would need some clearance there inside the box you're also going to get your power adapter here which is uh, changeable for UK and uh, US and the power goes into the actual device here and also you're going to get your HDMI cable and that's pretty much it for the access free box so if you are thinking about buying an Azul access free fanless mini PC stick you may as well get yourself the Azul Link multifunctional uh, remote control the reason why is because it does have an air mouse function which allows you to use it whilst you're sitting down on your TV you can move the mouse around by moving it around just like a Wii stick here so let me get this out of the plastic here it's got a piano black finish on the outside it does have remote on one side and also keyboard on the other QWERTY keyboard and you can see here it's got all the buttons on here your windows button your power button your standby button your air mouse button and you've got your standard uh, buttons on here for your right click and left click your navigation buttons and stuff like that you've got your input here home button and it, there's your navigation all around here and your left click on there and of course you've got your onboard keyboard if you want to do that you can do and you can use your air mouse to move it about you've got your volume up and down your play button as well so very nice very worth having and uh, here is your backlit light here this is going to illuminate the keyboard and the front 
a nice blue color which i'll show you a bit later on you've got your qwerty keyboard here and uh yeah it's a really decent keyboard you get a really nice uh, touch uh, to this keyboard it's very sensitive and it works really really well it's great if you want to surf the web and stuff like that it saves you having to get a big massive keyboard and having all the usb devices plugged into there because you've only got two usb ports on that little mini pc so this is going to be useful one of those ports is going to be used up by this uh usb here uh, because this has a usb receiver on it as well let me give you a sound of the clicking so the keyboard is quite responsive you've got all your function buttons on there as well qwerty keyboard you've got your battery bay here for your batteries uh, it comes with two batteries and also a user manual and a warranty card here i'll just show you those quickly there you go so this is the user manual very lightweight not much in here but it just tells you how to use your remote control and how to set it up it's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory uh, but it's all there gives you all the keyboard layout as well and you've got your warranty card as well here so let's take a look at the receiver here here is the receiver this is a usb receiver you just pull the cap off and plug this into your device you've got two batteries here you can change those out if you wish and uh, the receiver is just a usb receiver you just pull that top part off and plug it into uh, the mini pc and you're pretty good to go from here and uh, from there you would have ac access to your remote now you can see here i can type out anything i like so this is the remote all working now so i'm just going to show you by typing something out on the screen here and uh, it's hard to get the keyboard in and also show you so you can see i'm getting uh, typing going up so it's really quick and easy to do also um, you can open up the on uh, screen display keyboard by pushing the button here and you can use your air mouse to uh, point to those uh, keys and i'll show you that now so you can see the air mouse is now working and you can see the cursor on the screen moving around it's like a wee stick and it really is easy to use so if you never used one of these before once you get one you'll never go back you can see here all you'd need to do is just move this to the destination where you want to click on and you've got your uh, mouse keys on here which you can push your left and your right mouse key so let me just quickly show you this is your left and there's your right and if you want to disable the air mouse you just push this button and it will disable the air mouse and you can just use it as a standard remote and stuff like that you can also use your keyboard as well so let me just point to this and push the left key on here just to complete the process it's hard to get this on camera there we go it's much more easier when you're not filming uh, but yeah it's a really good device uh, to have especially with these little mini pcs so you can see it moves about nicely now when you turn this over the air mouse will stop so if you want to use the keypad you turn it over and it will just stop uh, moving and i'll quickly uh, show you this here so let me just turn the lights out and uh, give you the uh, backlit display here so you can see it gives you a nice uh, blue color and this will uh, turn off after a period of time so it won't be on permanently uh, so if you just want to see that it will just go off and it's playing with my focusing on the camera a little bit but you can see when I turn it over the back keyboard comes on so it's a little bit out of focus but it's a really nice clear uh, picture but you can't see it on there because it's gone out of focus a little bit so just one more feature I wanted to show you here. So if you're looking at the front area here and you're using your air mouse and you then turn it over to use the keypad, what will happen is the keypad will then stop the air mouse from working and you can use your keypad just like so and you can see it stop. And that's pretty much it. So what I think we'll do is do some testing with the mini PC now so you can see it. And uh, we'll go ahead and do some uh, tests so anyway, that is the Link uh, Remote Control. I'll be using uh, a, a big keypad here because I want to show you some games. But you can see here, if you want to open up the big on-display keyboard, you can use your air mouse to control that as well. Just want to quickly show you that there before we go. So you don't even have to use the keypad on the back of the remote if you don't want to. If you like using the air mouse to click on what you want to click on, you can use this here and type it in this way. Whatever... Uh, method you like to use you've got all options open and available to you with this uh, remote control anyway let's move on to some tests here i just want to show you some 4k streaming with youtube here 
Let's go ahead and play some YouTube here at 4K. I just want to show you that this little mini PC here is capable of streaming at 4K. I'm just going to change it to the 4K setting and then we can uh, set this off and run. Now, depending on your broadband speed, uh, stuff like that will depend how smooth it will come down. Uh, but once you get it to set all, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. And uh, that's working on that little mini fanless PC which will be plugged into the back of your TV or monitor, depending where you want to put it. Works really, really well. No stutter in there or shuttering at all. Movies, again, you can play all your movies. These are movie trailers that you can get on YouTube. I'm just playing these just to show you. And again, you can use your air mouse as well. Perfectly good to uh, play movies. You can do some games on here as well. So we're just going to show you some other stuff here. So I'm going to do some other samples. Now this is Jellyfish, 120 megabits per second, 4K Ultra HD. Now this is quite a complex file, but it, as you can see, once it set, settles down, it does play this file easily. No problems at all. I'll just leave it playing for a little bit longer. Just wanted to show you a couple of your little spike there, but it's still playing that okay. And we're going to do another one here. This is another 60 frames per second 4K file. And uh, as you can see, playing it no problems at all, nice and smooth. And I can even skip uh, the video. I'll just quickly show you here, skipping the video. It catches up no problem at all. So it's got plenty of grunt and it can uh, play these files with no problems at all. And if gaming's your thing, it can play obviously games as well. Obviously, it's not going to be a hardcore gaming machine, but it will play uh, all types of games. And uh, this is just one I've just put on here just because it's quick and easy to show you. It's nice and smooth, no problems at all. But obviously, uh, it's going to be limited to some sort of games because of the graphics and also the CPU, but it will play uh, these types of games, no problem at all. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That is the... Azul access free and also the Azul link remote control. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to get yourself one of these, I'll leave the links in the video description for you so you can get your hands on these. They're an awesome bit of kit, very small and uh, compact. So if you do want to get yourself a little home media system where you can play all your movies and stuff like that, you can play it from here. It's got plenty of storage in there 32 gigabytes and also you can put that micro sd card in there up to 256 gigs and you can also plug in a little small um, drive in there if you wanted to if you, if that's what you want to do and get even more storage but other than that it's a pretty decent bit of kit and you can play all your home movies tv shows games and stuff like that on this little mini pc anyway i hope this one's helped you out i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks to azul for sending this one over for a review i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos